So I just watched a TED talk on self-control and uh, dealing with cravings. But I also just watched a Burger Boy video, which was beautifully edited of me discussing my addiction to Jankum. And I have Jankum cravings right now. I've been taking Jankum intravenously recently along with a heavy dose of uh, antibiotics. Because when you inject poop into your veins, you run a serious risk of damaging your health. But it feels so enlightening and good and so tasty and wonderful. It makes you change all of your worst parts. If you take Jankum and just rub it in your eye, you become aware that pink eye is just another color. That blue eye is a more common color for me. But green eye is a very specific genetic coloring of the eyeball. And pink eye goes away after time, especially if you have eye drops. Now, they don't make Jankum eye drops yet because we haven't regulated and legalized Jankum. I know what you're thinking. We haven't illegalized Jankum, so why do we need to legalize and regulate it? Because rights are infrastructure. The way you think of rights leaves a lot of people without their rights. Rights are infrastructure towards social media that therapizes. And we should extend that infrastructure into solitary confinement now. Solcons don't have the necessary sunlight to ferment their jankum with. They're forced to consume a poo most nasty. I can attest to this. Most nasty, mostest nasty, mostest nastiestest, most nastiestest terrific is the type of poop that soul cons have to flush every day. It's this poop that like does not help anything. It's just. <laughs> And it sounds funny and silly, and it's just not. It's actually a time of stress where you try and get your frontal lobe to control your spine at its very deepest recess. The very end of your spine has the power to make you come and poop. And you can't force it. You have to work so hard to come or poop. It's not... It's not a natural part of life for some people to come and poop. It takes sexual interaction and, you know, consumption of food and, like, location of toilets. All these things that soul cons could be having trouble with, you don't know if they're having trouble. Because they're soul cons. You can't rehabilitate a soul con. Why can you rehabilitate me, a known felon? Known for illegal poo smuggling. Because Uganda. Me Ganda, Uganda. And when I Ganda there, I discovered they have made Jankum illegal. Along with homosexuality. And that is the political reality of uh, the reputation that makes the homophobic F word so foul. If you are gay, you simply deserve to have rights and safety and respect and love. And Uganda has flirted with and become victim to a deep homophobia that we exported from the United States of America an also deeply homophobic place. 
but I'm a nigger faggotard, faggot every day. And so I faggotize things. I take the wrong and I make it civil. And I say, I'm proud to be a faggot. I stand with the gay brethren. And we don't all agree on Jankum. Sometimes I see a gay guy and I yell, what up faggot? And I throw some Jankum at him. And he interprets this negatively instead of catching it and smearing it on his skin, hoping that it can melt like a tab of acid, flaccid poop, flaccid, tiny movement poop. My poop moves violently and extremely on the tiny scale. Right now, if you take a micro scope to my poop, you will see all sorts of activity. If you take a microscope to my hand, you won't see as much activity. We think this is more active than a piece of poop because we are on the wrong scale. If only we were as small as a microbe, an alien microbe, we could achieve the understanding the universe has to tell you, which is, fuck you, you're gonna die. And Jesus ain't nothing but a crossy fuck you, you're gonna die. <laughs> Incarnation, number fin, I've been fish suit, snap happy in, I can do anything, but I choose to do this, I vlog because as a baby I wasn't kissed, I'm unloved. But I'm unbossed right now, unless you're my boss. Never eat a cow, never eat a cow, never eat a cow, never eat a cow. Ow! Cow food's making the planet dangerous, and a stranger cuss. Then this is motherfucker tired, shit a blake graph. You cannot laugh at a cussing out because you clean your goddamn mouth with words that curse and hurt and slur us all. Bum, 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 bum. Call 1-800-QUIT-NOW. Ask them if they'll help with Jankum. Tell them they should rehire the Gafagatard. He's crazy. He's gonna be lazy for the rest of the day, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay.